In less than two weeks, global leaders will meet in Egypt for the annual climate change summit. And Scott, we got a United Nations report just this morning, yeah. and it doesn't look very good. It was really As disappointing. world leaders so debate solutions to the climate crisis, no ecosystem on the Earth is more crucial for our planet's survival than the South American Amazon rainforest. Right now, that forest is under siege on multiple fronts. In today's video, we'll be learning about greenhouse gases. Sure, I'm cold. Sure, we're doing with some greenhouse gases. <laughs> ah, well, thank you, humans. How considerate of you. Ah, ah, that's that's yeah. I feel much warmer. Thank you. Thank. Oh, um, okay. Don't didn't think I needed two, but don't want to be rude. <laughs> thank you. I suppose. Oh. Two's company after all. <laughs> Woo! I am very warm. Thank you. Thank. Oh, um, uh, no, thank you. I think I've got enough. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Uh, I'm very warm now. And oh, uh, no, no, no. Please, I've got, I've got, I've got enough now. I think I'm think. I've, I've got enough now. I, I think. Ah! Whew. That was too warm. And very stressful. A greenhouse is a structure made out of glass or transparent materials used for growing plants. Greenhouses stay so warm that tropical plants can be grown inside of them in colder countries even during the winter. The way the greenhouse works is the sun's light and heat enter through the greenhouse via the transparent walls and roof. This heat is then trapped inside of the greenhouse even at night time. <laughs> The Earth's greenhouse effect works in a similar way. Without greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere, the world would be a pretty cold place indeed. This is because some of the sunshine that reaches the Earth's surface would be reflected out into outer space. As well as this, any heat that the Earth did absorb into its surface would mostly be lost at night time due to it getting colder. Thankfully, this doesn't happen due to greenhouse gases such as water vapour, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane and hydrofluorocarbons said it correctly, that traps some of this heat and prevent it from being lost. Think of greenhouse gases as a snug, cosy blanket that keeps the earth nice and warm. However, the problem now is that more and more greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, are being released into the atmosphere by humans who are burning more and more fossil fuels. This causes more and more heat to be trapped within the earth's atmosphere, which slowly is raising the earth's temperature over time. We call this global warming. The devastating domino effect of issues associated with global warming seems pretty endless. Climate change, drought, famine, melting ice caps and glaciers, rising sea levels, the oceans becoming more acidic and the destruction of countless ecosystems, aka animals and their habitats. To put a stop to this, we need to gradually stop using fossil fuels and swap to cleaner, more renewable energy sources. By also putting a stop to deforestation and instead planting more trees or using phytoplankton in the oceans, we can also reduce the amount of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere and undo the effects of global warming. Recap time. Greenhouse gases are gases such as carbon dioxide, water vapour or methane that trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. Greenhouse gases are needed to keep the Earth nice and warm. By burning fossil fuels and releasing more greenhouse gases, we are causing global warming. Global warming has many problems associated with it, such as climate change, drought, famine, melting ice caps and glaciers, rising sea levels, the oceans becoming more acidic and the destruction of ecosystems. And so we've come to the end of our video about the greenhouse effect. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of the other videos on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.